Stage two, when my echoes become whispers. That's what it's all about. That's what it's always been about. It's been about all thoughts that be worthy. We all have been offered outfits to purchase in gameplay. We make the choice. That's the one feet right there. That's the one. This is how we do it. For all those that be worthy and more. Got a bad do. That's the one. Thank you very much. Yeah, so it's like you're gonna purchase an outfit, but then you're gonna have to level that outfit up. But you know what? Whispers I give to you. Chocolate mousse, I know who you are, sunshine. Yeah, so basically, what you do is when you purchase your outfits, you're not gonna be buffing them up at all. You won't be leveling them up at all. First, that's what I've been trying to say. That's what you need to listen close. Imagine when you get to the point where you are able to get a max level gold and silver. Do you know what kind of level of gameplay you will be going towards? So that's what I'm talking about. Could I produce? Basically, and you can buy all the Halloween outfits, you can buy all the Christmas outfits, but what's going to come of it? You're not going to be able to level them up until all the other ones are done first. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the Easter egg. So what you need to do is, you need to... Hmm, you need to work on multiple strategies in gameplay. That's what it comes down to. You can't put all your eggs in one basket. You have to streak. You have to smart participate in events. Get special good events. Get yourself in a, you know, get yourself in a in a in a guild that you build your friendship, your family, your relationship, and you let the game, you let your gameplay do the talking. Okay. It doesn't matter if you got a lisp, it's all good. Don't let your dreams become nightmares like this shit, alright? That's why you have to do whatever it takes. Now, I'll show you. The reason why I would use this Leisure Pirate here, there's a very great, very, very nice uh, number on the percentage that I get from the outfit for my priestesses, for that's for fighting. The reason why would you say this is for long distance, but the gunners, I think there's a gunner ability with, with this outfit here. So when you're streaking like I'm going to do right now, it's important that I, I, I equip an outfit that would benefit the streak for the gunner's deployment, in other words. So that's how you work with it. But anyway, yeah. I mean, there's no issue with purchasing outfits. They're all great. They've got great percentages. The percentage you'll get on a on a Christmas outfit can, you know, will match higher than any other, other than the ones that you get for the Halloween ones. But these ones will not be buffing up until you do your trade ship management. And this one I'm showing you is like. Kind of, you can just take it as if like it's just streak management for now. Little win, Ken. I know who you are, sunshine. It's all good. I'm giving a little PR dump. <laughs> yeah, PR boost, PR bump, PR dump. Why you want to call it? It's all good. Yeah. So even when you're fighting a rumble, a guild that you know you can't beat, <laughs> it's all good. You gotta keep it quiet. This is all about whispers. Yeah. So we we leave all the echoes, echoes. Start the whispers, whispers. 
Yeah, so that basically that's what it is in a nutshell. You need to be smart. Look, Ching Shi, that player's name was Ching Shi. That's who I'm using. Yeah, so you can go ahead, do the purchases. But remember, you will not be uh, buffing them up anytime soon. Because of the gameplay I've showed you, according to my gameplay, maybe. And little twin, little twin, we've got little kin before. Little win. And now we've got, oh my, why this happening? I'm telling you, it's, it's got about two for your accounts. So you'll be wondering, like, how oh, Unique Rebels found, <gasps> he's found more than one of my accounts. That's the one. Yeah, so it's all about fun. This player here, they've got a few flame gates rearmed and stuff, so it's probably a, an active player. They'll see me reward him a little PR, PR dump, so it's so good. Yeah, so I mean, as I says to you, you know, what you gotta do is you gotta play on different levels, seriously. You gotta PR down like I am right now, then you find like more easier, like you know, pirate halls to take down. You'll find some in the corners. And what's this just losing and winning? It's all good. It's just part of the game. You gotta be able to take your wins. And then you gotta be able to take your losses. Don't let these things get to you. It's part of the game. To win and lose is a fighting game at the end of the day. So remember to play your gameplay in its purest forms. Enjoy your gameplay. And make sure to play at different levels in strategy. Multiple levels of levels in strategy. I can make this video anything, you know. But end of the day, you know, gotta be straight to the point. And the truth be that you have to play at multiple different levels in strategy. Sometimes you have to maintain a low PR pirate rank. To gain easier wins that would just suit your kind of gameplay and your gameplay enjoyment. Now, sometimes PR down, you've got to drop big PR down, you know, and then you, get, you gain this islands are just more simple to just take on. So that's what we're working towards. We're always working. See, do you understand? You get much easier islands to take on. We can just uh, get a 50% with just a handful of troops. You plan smart to play smart. You play smart to do do well, you know, you do. So you have to always keep progressively thinking, calculate your moves. And as time, TX girl know who you are. Yeah, part of a cannibal family too. That's the one. This is about Vespas. Yeah, so as I was saying, you need to, you can get ahead of players that are, far senior than yourself in this game just with the correct approach in gameplay I'm not saying I have the correct approach call us the skin of sunshine so silent with you yes so I'm not saying I have the most correctest approach but allow my gameplay to kind of encourage your gameplay thinking as it evolves you know, what kind of player gives all his ideas away? I mean, most players and people are just meant to keep their ideas for themselves, do you understand? So that 